Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Keely McCormick. Police identified the missing suspect who killed three people and critically injured another in the North Bend area yesterday. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Keely McCormick. Two massive explosions reported near the southeast side of Ukraine's capital early Sunday morning. These lighting up the sky in Kyiv as Russia's attack on Ukraine is going on day three. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Keely McCormick. Those battles raging across Ukraine this weekend. Tonight, police are investigating a death near 24th and Monroe Street in Eugene. Police say they were called there around 1 this morning, and the Violent Crimes Unit is investigating what happened. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Keely McCormick. One man is in custody tonight after Eugene police responded to a possible armed suspect in the Santa Clara area in North Eugene. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Keely McCormick. Protests across the country today as people took to the streets to voice their opinions on the Supreme Court draft leak that shows a majority of the court in favor of overturning Roe v. Wade. Jury at Kyle Rittenhouse's murder trial deliberated for a third day without reaching a verdict. Meanwhile, the judge for the trial today says no one from MSNBC News will be permitted into the courtroom. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Keely McCormick. The shelling continues in Ukraine today as the government there accuses Russia of violating a ceasefire, worsening an already dangerous situation for civilians trying to evacuate. OHSU predicts Oregon may hit its peak of hospitalizations in the next few days, but will drop off by next weekend. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Keely McCormick. Party goers threw glass bottles at Eugene police officers today while they were responding to an off campus party on 16th Avenue between Patterson and Hilliard. There was an estimated 500 to 1000 people. The party blocked the roadway and spread into travel lanes and onto neighboring properties. Officers say they had to push the crowd after hails to disperse failed. Well, a man is facing charges in connection to a 2019 Portland murder. U.S. Marshals arrested 24-year-old Tyreek Credit in Eugene on Friday. Portland police say he allegedly shot and killed 48-year-old Thomas Osborne when he was sitting in his car on Northeast Broadway in 19th in November of 2019. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Keely McCormick. New tonight, an explosive device was found at a St. Vincent de Paul site in Junction City this morning. Our own Kirsten Lindquist was on scene as staff found what appeared to be a functional hand grenade. Kirsten joins us now live in the studio. So Kirsten, how did something like this even get inside St. Finney's? Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Keely McCormick. Today in Tracktown, USA, thousands of fans and participants gathered for Eugene's annual half and full marathon. The race started at 7 a.m. in front of Hayward Field. Our photographer was on scene today. Check out the sights and sounds from today's event. Conditions and whipping winds are fueling more than a dozen large fires across Arizona and New Mexico. Fires have scorched 174 square miles and destroyed dozens of homes in northern New Mexico. Protesters speaking out about the possibility that the Supreme Court may overturn Roe versus Wade. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Keely McCormick. The United States Supreme Court has voted to overturn abortion rights across the country. That's according to a draft opinion obtained first by Politico. The opinion penned by Justice Samuel Alito declares the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision which guaranteed the right to the South Willamette Valley Honor Flight is heading back to Portland tonight where the group of veterans will be welcomed in grand fashion at the Portland International Airport. But before they left Washington, D.C. today, they visited three more spots, beginning with the National Museum of the United States Army. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Keely McCormick. We're going to start off with a first look at the forecast now with a live look outside tonight with our tower camera. Coverage tonight on the Mapleton Water Emergency. A temporary treatment system arrived in town today. Good evening. I'm Keely McCormick filling in for Kendall Bartley. Residents have been without working water since Tuesday after debris from recent rainfall caused the town's filtration system to fail. But this is far from the first time the water district has had issues.